Here we are with another episode of The Clever Dev, and today we're going to look at something very specific in MUI. We're going to look at how to apply box shadow, uh, like the CSS value. This is not talking about the box component, although you can apply it there, but anyway, it's this box shadow that you see um, the shadowing around each of these components. What I've got here is a paper component, a stack component, and a div styled using the styled API. Now they've each got um, the exact same values of box shadow applied ultimately. However, the code for getting there was a little bit different. So we're going to look at each of those methods. You can see I've used the elevation prop on paper, the box shadow within SX on the stack, and then I've done a direct theme shadows access on box shadow. You can see it's 12 on each of these. Ultimately, we're pulling the same value, values, but we're gonna dig into why the MUI team recommends um, ultimately this approach and uh, with the stack here and um, we're gonna dig into imports, whether they're needed or not, and um, just really explore this, because there's actually a lot of people trying to figure out the best way to do this. All right, the first thing, as usual, that we should start with is the imports, because if you don't know the imports, then uh, it's hard to get anything else done past that. So, interestingly, if you just Google MUI shadows, you will likely see this um, at the top of the results, of the search results, and, um, it's obviously very specific to applying box shadow uh, within MUI. So most people would look at this and say, okay, write a little bit about it. What do I need to do? Oh, it looks like I need to import this value here in order to be able to use box shadows. Uh, I don't actually know what the purpose of this page is because if you import this, it will not help you actually use box shadows within um, within your app. with in styling your components. So I showed you my intro code. I've actually stripped off box shadow, but one thing I did not have is I did not have any imports specific to box shadow. Box shadow is just another CSS value. It's a, literally box dash shadow. So what MUI has done is they know that's a very commonly needed styling. And so they've added box shadow specifically to the theme. So what we're gonna do in this in this video is we're going to uh, access the theme in three different ways. Um, and I mentioned that the stack using the SX prop is really the preferred method. Although paper using the elevation prop is pretty much doing the same thing. It's just a little less dynamic. Um, but anyway, so I've got uh, quite a bit of setup, all that I've removed um, in order to, all that I've got uh, different than with the intro where they had box shadow is obviously you can see they do not have box shadow on them. Um, so we'll go ahead and add that. I wanna mention that the paper component by default has a border radius on it. It's not something I've added. Um, these three components here have the exact same styling on them, just margin, padding, and border. And you can see that even with the margin and padding, I'm actually using shorthand within the SX prop to access those values and within the style div that I created, I'm using a direct theme access. So anyway, first what we're gonna look at is the elevation on paper. So some components so often need box shadow that they just have a shorthand uh, prop on them. So we can put in a value of 12 there and uh, we'll see that we get box shadow on this, but let's actually dig into what's going on here. And we'll, this is, um, I have TypeScript enabled and we can dig into um, the typings on this. So it says number or undefined. So, and it also says it accepts the values between zero and 24 inclusive. I actually have a different video and article on uh, the theme. It dives quite a bit more into the theme, but the theme by default has zero to 24. So really 25 different shadow values um, available and so they're just preset values and um, those can be accessed through the elevation prop here. The SX prop actually will give us, uh, we can access uh, those values, but we actually have quite a bit more typings available and we'll see that in a moment. But before we do that, I want to come over here and look at this component in the DOM so that we can see what that uh, value of 12 corresponds to in terms of actual CSS box shadow. So we're looking at our paper component here. Let's scroll down a little bit. So we see our box shadow, pretty complex really. 
And Box Shadow does quite a few things. Um, it has X offset and Y offset values. It has um, a color value to it, and there's a couple other values all within here. So um, a pretty complex thing. So you can see why there is value in MUI giving us the shadows prop, uh, or the, excuse me, the shadows values on the theme by default. And um, if I didn't mention it, that unlike most of the properties or fields on the theme object, the shadows is actually an array. So that 12 that I passed in um, was literally that um, it's applying whatever box shadow is at index 12 in that theme, uh, in the shadow array on the theme. So um, one more time, just going to show, let's keep this in mind here, elevation, it can only accept a number or it can, of course, be non-existent. So let's go down to stack and we're going to apply box shadow through the SX prop here, just like this. So you can see 12 on both of these and let's look up here. And I'm not going to, you know, we can, we can dig into the CSS and make sure it's the same value, but it's the same values. Um, however, what I want to show here is that the typing on this one clearly accepts a lot more values here. So what it accepts here is, honestly, I'm not even sure what some of these are, but it accepts the numeric value that corresponds to the theme shadow array. And it also accepts CSS property values. So... Importantly, what I could do is, I guess I will dig into the DOM here, actually. Let's just copy this from the DOM here. So I'm going to take those box shadow values. Instead of having 12, we're just going to put them directly in here. So I stole all that, and just go ahead and refresh, even though I just saw it update over here in, the, in DevTools, and we're going to refresh and dig in. And we can see that, once again, we've got all this nice box shadow on here. So um, that's the difference between the elevation and the box shadow. The box shadow is just quite a bit more dynamic within the SX prop. So I'm going to flip that back to 12 and we'll let that be. All right, so now we're going to go up to the box shadow uh, div that I've created, just a style div. And I'll show that um, here we need to use kind of a direct access method, you could say, on the theme. And so we access that shadows array. And since it's an array, we have to use, of course, array syntax. And I'm going to put in a value of 12 there. So you see how the spacing uh, was using kind of like a function access, passing in a parameter value. Here we're passing in an index into an array. So let's see what that looks like. Looks like everything's good down here. Um, our app is compiled properly. So anyway, here we are. We see that uh, shadow value up here. So um, we could, of course, directly pass in um, a string that is, or actually not even a string, just CSS values uh, for the box shadow. And um, that would get us where we wanted to be in terms of getting a value applied. However, the MUI team actually does not advocate. Um, they, it's kind of interesting. Sometimes people will ask me, why should I use SX instead of the styled API? or the other way around, you know, what are the pros and cons of each? So this is one of the areas where the, um, the SX value has some advantage. It has that direct access. And so the MUI team calls out three benefits to that. Um, there's less time spent reducing or spent switching context and it reduces your effort in having to name things, reduces the need to enforce consistency. So what I think they're talking about there is just not having to worry about, you know, what you're naming things over here and uh, in terms of what your styled component's name is. Um, It's interesting. Sometimes people ask me what the benefit of using, let's say, the SX prop over the styled API is, or vice versa. This is one of the areas where the SX prop has an advantage. It's just a, a quicker access. Um, there's, uh, you know, just simply less code involved. You have to know it's more abstracted. You don't have to know as much about 
um, how the theme works. You don't have to know that shadows is an array as opposed to uh, a typical object and so on. Um, and the MUI team for this particular case really calls that out and says the SX prop uh, is, is the way to go here. So um, since I'm on the subject of it, I'll mention the styled API is nice because you're actually just directly using CSS syntax, box dash shadow, instead of the JSX syntax that we see down here of box shadow camel case. Um, there's some other benefits. If you're just used to the styled API, then you might like doing uh, this method, creating styled components. But anyway, um, that's a little bit off topic. And so um, one thing I want to mention is if you are being helped by these videos, then please do subscribe. It really motivates me. And with that said, I hope that this was a helpful video and there are links to uh, full code for this and a, a write-up on my, on my website. And um, so take a look at that if you need additional help or additional code. With that said, I hope that this was a, a great video and uh, have a wonderful day.